Hey there, good afternoon. I am back home in Northern California after my 12 day trip to El Salvador. So out here is Lake Mendocino in Mendocino County. It is actually a reservoir. It was created back in the uh, first half of the uh, 20th century. I forget exactly, maybe 40s or 50s. So it was just a, a valley here before, and there were vineyards here, including right here. This is an old abandoned winery. Pretty cool. This is a place where I approve of the street art. Very uh, colorful, pretty interesting stuff. So I'm going to walk back to my car and in the process talk about expenses and money earned. So I'm going to compare with specifics exactly how much this uh, last trip of mine cost compared to how much money I made from the videos that I made on that trip. And then also, as a different comparison, that I'm going to do the same thing for my recent Hawaii trip, which is going to be a different, uh, you'll see it worked out differently, as in not as well. And so for anyone who might come across this who is new to my channel, then I am a travel vlogger. That is my full-time job, is making travel videos and traveling around the world. 94 countries visited so far. El Salvador was my 94th. My last real, so to speak, job was in... Jasper National Park, Canada. I left there December 2014, almost a decade ago now. I've been making videos for years up to that point in 2014, but I was making almost no money, like 80 to $100 a month or something. So I left that uh, job with some savings and got a little more uh, devoted and creative with the uh, videos and I managed to take off from there and here I am a decade later making a living traveling around the world. It is a pretty ultimate career. So I wanted to uh, break down exactly how much I make from videos so that you can see how I actually, you know, managed to do this without having any other source of income other than the uh, stuff you see in the description below the uh, video, the affiliate links and Patreon, etc. But uh, basically it is all tied into YouTube, so that is my only source of income. So I have a uh, list here that I just made. I'll give you a general snapshot, some numbers, and I will explain what all this means. So, as I said, I just got back from El Salvador yesterday. I was there for... 12 days. So here is the cost breakdown of what that trip cost me. Flights. $581 for my round trip flights. Hotels for the 12 nights cost me $650. Uber rides cost $189. Food, $328. The airport shuttle to the San Francisco airport here in California. Round trip, 51 bucks each comes to $102. So the grand total that a 12 day trip, including airfare and basically all expenses was $1,850. Okay, we have a little uh, wildlife here. A banana slug. Hello there. That guy could have easily been stepped on because they don't exactly stand out. 
And so over the course of 12 days of traveling, I posted 14 videos for a grand total of 300,000 views. So I was filming every day. There were a couple of days where I filmed enough that I decided to break it into two videos instead of posting one big long video. So here we go, drum roll. How much did I make from 14 videos, 300,000 views? There you go. $2,493. As I just showed, the total amount of the cost of the trip was $1,850. And so I am $650 ahead as of right now compared to if I hadn't done the trip. But it is a little better than that because today is March 19th. And I just posted the 14th video this morning. I have no data for that video. I also don't have any financial data for the video that I posted yesterday. So those aren't factored in at all to that total amount that I made from the videos. Also, those videos are all still getting views and will continue to get views into the future for who knows how long. Where my channel is at now, I don't get as much in the way of long-term views from my videos as I used to in the past. So it is going to drop down considerably. If I don't post any more videos for a while now, then uh, it's going to go way down. So here is a graphic showing how much I was making over the past month without the numbers, but just so you can see the uh, general idea of I come back to the United States and how much I'm making drops considerably. Now, partly that was just because I was posting less videos, but also because my audience isn't so interested in US content. Whenever I come back to the States, then the videos don't do as well, whatever they're about, if it's in a city, a national park, whatever, the views are always down. And so you can see where it suddenly starts spiking up. That was the first day that I arrived in El Salvador. Well, the day that I posted my uh, first video from there. As you can see, it had just plummeted way down what I was making each day over the previous several weeks. And then as soon as I get back to it, back to traveling, then boom, it uh, jumps way up. And so the total amount that I will make from those videos of El Salvador is undetermined, but uh, they will continue to make something, especially over the next week or two, and then they will all be, you know, dropping down, but they're going to make something more. And so you can see, I made an extra 650 bucks on top of covering my travel expenses. Now, just covering the travel expenses is great by itself, keeping in mind that, you know, there's a lot of work involved in the filming, the hours of editing every day, but, you know, it's a uh, pretty cool job to have. And then if you can make more money than what you're spending, that is, of course, the ideal. Now, it doesn't always work out that way. So that is the uh, next part of this uh, list here. Hawaii. So about a month ago, then I flew to Hawaii for a nine day trip. This one was kind of intended to be more of a vacation than a full on travel vlogging trip. But uh, here are the numbers for that. Flights there and back, $837. Hotels, 2,139. Food, it is a rough estimate there. I just called it 500 bucks. And again, the airport shuttle for $102 for a grand total of expenses, 3,578. But look at what I made from my eight videos over the nine days, 168,000 views on those videos as of now. I only made $1,085. So whereas on this El Salvador trip, I was 650 ahead as of now. On that one, I lost 2,493 bucks. And that is final. Those videos aren't going to make hardly anything anymore. Now, 
if I had gone a little more full on, I could have easily made uh, some more videos and maybe better videos that would have done better. But uh, I wasn't filming a number of those days. There were a bunch of days where I filmed so much in one day that it made two videos. And so that's why I got eight videos out of nine days, not because I was filming every day. But anyways, there you can see, it's not like I'm getting, you know, crazy rich here. So that also kind of encapsulates what happened for me on this last eight month trip to, I think, 22 countries last year and then coming back at the beginning of this year. And so I started out that trip going to Spain, which was quite expensive, and then Malta, Greece, and especially once I got to Switzerland, then the prices are insane there. So the whole first half of that trip basically was really expensive and I lost money. In that case, it was like a few thousand dollars over the course of several months, not as bad as this Hawaii trip losing 2,300 something bucks in just nine days. But uh, I lost money on the first half of the trip and then on the second half of the trip, then I went to cheaper countries and made back what I lost and then some and ended the eight month trip ahead. So basically, in a nutshell then, my best strategy to actually make money and save money is to go to cheap countries. The costs come down considerably. The videos actually do better. People are generally more interested in, you could just say cheaper countries, but uh, you know, more sort of exotic destinations, a little rougher travel. My channel has been built around adventure travel and so that is what people are interested in not seeing me kicking back in five-star hotel rooms and taking tours and going on cruises and stuff like that and so if I just go to places that are less expensive then I can uh, make roughly the same money but spend a lot less now there's the phenomenon of CPMs or RPMs, which is how much you make per 1,000 views on YouTube. And as I discussed in a previous video a while ago, then that number has been going up for me so that I'm making more per 1,000 views than I used to years ago. And so that's really what is funding my travels at this point because my total number of views have dropped, but I'm making as much, if not more, from those uh, number of views that I'm getting. So for anyone who might be thinking, well, but if you go to cheaper countries, don't you make less? Because YouTube pays based on advertising that corresponds with a particular place. And so if you go to somewhere that is less expensive, then aren't you going to make less money there? And then it kind of evens out. But no, that is not the case because it doesn't matter where you are. That doesn't matter at all. It matters where you are more. I mean, that is one of the uh, uh, big factors is where is the audience living because, or viewing the video from, because advertisers are paying based on the cost of stuff that they're advertising, you know, for, where they're advertising to uh, try to sell their stuff. And so it's more about where the viewer is than where I personally am or where the videos are being filmed. And my audience doesn't really shift around that much. Certainly when I go to specific countries, I'm probably getting an increase in viewers from that particular country who might be interested in seeing a foreign traveler showing what their country is like, but it's not a huge uh, factor. Still, my audience, subscribers, and even non-subscribers is essentially the same, and so my audience pretty much stays the same. The RPMs or CPMs that I'm making per 1,000 views stays about the same, and uh, yet I'm spending a lot less money on travel expenses when you can go somewhere and get a hotel room for 
10, 20, 30 dollars instead of 100, 150, 200, 300 bucks like Hawaii. So that also kind of begs the question, well, what if I don't want to travel for the rest of my life? How then do I make a living? Or if I want to just travel for half the year and I can't get by making videos, being in one place in the United States, then uh, what would I do? And of course this is something that is certainly on my mind and I am thinking about and I've been planning to make another YouTube channel at some point that would be more based on content that is not location specific. And I could, you know, explain that further once I actually get around to doing that, but uh, it would be possibly still kind of travel related, travel tips, travel stories, stuff like that video content that I do post on this channel, but that is always less interest to people. The views go down because people want to see actual travel vlogging content. But if I build an audience who is specifically interested in, in that kind of stuff, then perhaps the views will go up. Some of the local wildlife here. And then I have some other ideas as well. I mean, I could do, speaking of wildlife and nature, more US-based backpacking, content, camping, road tripping, and then some other random stuff that I have in mind as well. But uh, for now, what I'm doing is working pretty well and I definitely feel like I have the best job in the world. So uh, that is all for now. I am probably just going to be in this area visiting family again for only a few days maybe this time and then might be heading out, although maybe not on an international journey. That's what I'm in the process of uh, figuring out uh, now, so uh, probably won't be too exciting for a little while, but uh, travel plans for the spring are in the works. That's all for now. See you later. Adios. Hasta luego.